Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to X4 Foundations. And in this episode, we're going to be getting like the last or all three, a little bit of all three of the DLCs. The first video in the series, we went over Young Gun, Dedicated Warrior, The Untested Explorer, and Fires of Defeat. This episode, we're going to finish all these guys up. We got Spear the Patriarch, the Terran Cadet. Project Genesis, Smuggler's Paradise, and Stranded. Stranded, of course, this one being the hardest because, you, as you can see, you start to sell. But let me know what you guys think once again as we finish this up, what the best starting area is. Now, personally, I'm looking for probably a fighter. I'm going to be... Uh, Wanting something that's going to put me into a lot of combat. Because that's what I prefer to do. I'm not a miner. I'm not a space trader. I love my combat. So, let me know down in the comments. As always, kick back, relax. Let's get some. And in his wisdom, the Patriarch of All Split graciously offers to accept your capitulation. Surrender now, and your executions will be honorable and swift. Ooh. There's nobody left to surrender. Good. No more useless negotiations. Inform the fleet. All pilots, you have reformed as expected. Distraction dealt with. Military campaign against wretched Argon creatures can continue. Patriarch expects true split to show initiative. All right. Let us check out the map. We're in the Fires of Victory. The Spear of the Patriarch is our first one up today. Start, and we've got, yeah, an Asp. All right, so there we go. There's a little overview of what we're actually doing in this one. Let's see. Ship-wise, again, it's an ass. It's a fighter. Oh, 4,600. Shield, 703. So, that's not the best. Cruising speed's decent. All right, down here on the old loadout, Mach 1 for every, th every single thing. Lots of upgrades to do. Oh, and we get 5,000 credits there. I don't see any stations anywhere near us, but... Oh, that's cool. I like those. Not quite sure what the, you know, distance would be, but... Yeah, this is just a whole bunch of... Wreck. Own up ships. Wreck. Now, this is a fast ship compared to some of the other things we were flying. Oh, tell me again why we're stuck with maintenance duty in Mars of all places. All right, so this one starts you out a little differently. It's the one I think we might do. Right? And we just, you start off by going to these missions. We're a cadet. We're working with this dude. This is the Terran cadet. Probably, from what I've seen, looks like one of the easiest starts just because it leads you from thing to thing to thing to give you missions to push you around to do different things. Which, in my opinion, that's, I mean, at the very least, that's what you should do in a sandbox game. Right? You don't need that much of a narrative, but you need missions that are going to pull you into the activities of this, of the area, like mining, or other such things. We'll see if this game does that. But here we go. First up, let's see. Where does our ship... Oh, of course, we got... Three Mark I Pulse Lasers. Obviously, this is a fighter. Which is another reason why I like it. 
We're looking at 3,700 for the whole, 1,000 for the shield. So that's actually better than the last one. But it's a curry. Sure, I did that wrong. Down here, a little description of what the ship's overview is. It's made to hunt down pirate organizations. There we go, loadout-wise. So we've got, yeah, three of the poles, a Mark II generator for shield. Not bad. Uh, All-around engine one. Okay. Okay on the thrusters. And then Mark one on everything else. I'm sure, let's see, yeah, three three crew capacity. And again, it starts you right on essential work, a mission. You guys let me know down in the comments again what you guys think the best starts are. So far, I'm thinking this guy's a pretty strong candidate. But we've got Pro Project Genesis next, so hold on. It's been years now since the gate to Aldrin shut down. I wonder how the people there are doing. Are they scared? Do they miss their loved ones? I wonder if we're ever going to hear from them. So many technological advancements, and we're still mostly clueless about how the gates work and what affects them. We just take them for granted. I wish I could talk to whoever built them, ask them why. Why build a network of gates and then leave? So many questions yet to be answered. I guess the upside is that I won't run out of things to investigate anytime soon. All right, so this one starts us. Nargia, what are you doing? Are you off daydreaming On a deck. again? Yes, Have I you am. Not read my message. I clearly stated the importance of this task. I have already set up all the instruments, and now I'm only waiting for you. Hurry up, we don't have all cycle. We gotta deploy a satellite, huh? Alright, so first things first, we gotta go to our ship. And the easiest way to do that is... Was it Shift D? There we go. Hey, hey. Trench you right to your ship. Rapier. Alright. Uh, Alright, ship information... Okay, so we are in a rapier. It's a scout vessel. You can tell, hole 14, shield 869. Now, if you guys have watched any of my playthroughs, you know I'm a heavy combat kind of guy. 1400 ain't gonna fly. Anyways, so, let's see. What's our loadout? We have a single pulse a laser mark one. Everything else, Mark One, except me, uh, long range scanner. All right, so we're supposed. This is supposed to be an exploratory kind of thing. We start out with five thousand credits. All right, we'll just pop on out here real quick. Wanted to see the difference between the fighter and this flat out speed. The max speed. Ooh, barely 280 looks like, right? Empty space. Versus, I think it was almost a hundred meters a second faster. Baldrick. So. What the game does is, because <clears throat> this is one of the ones I went through Empty a decent space. amount on, is uh, we do a couple of things for this guy, then he sends us to go buy something. The catch is you don't have enough money to buy what he wants, so you got to figure out what to do. But basically, again, starting from the exploratory kind of thing, five grand. Well, we've got Tides of Avaris. It's critical that we stay on schedule, so please use your travel drive. Yeah, I know, dude. <clears throat> and we got two more left of the newest DLC. So, hold on a second. All right, so this drops us right in the center of a mission. 
Get out here. Looks like we're supposed to go drop 600 units of base right, field of Vega. Mother, let's get this over with. Head for the station, make your delivery, get paid, blah, blah. We'll keep an eye on you. And any suspect traffic, of course. No need to worry while you're with us. Okay, so. It appears that's heading straight for a station. It's not heading out. And that's our mission. All right, let's see. Ooh, deploy military. That usually means... What kind of ship are we in? We're in a courier. Oh, wow. A rally. Raleigh container. Ooh. Got 5,000 credits. We have a single pulse laser. Everything's Mach 1. All right, so food shortages. Yep, you're a traitor in this bad boy, which is fine. If you enjoy that kind of thing, we got space fuel, we got wheat we can drop off. So, that's a pretty easy rundown here of what we currently have. Bet you anything, this thing <clears throat> is slow. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be running a carrier in our walkthrough, folks. Sorry, I got to be me, you know? This would probably be where they dock. Something along those lines. Anyways, we've got one more on deck. This is Smuggler's Paradise. So obviously, right? Some smuggling going on. And the last one is called Stranded. And that's an interesting start as well. And we start outside a ship yet again. This is Stranded. Hey. Looks like this is your lucky day, Two Eyes. That's the bunk of Hinu Hurricane. Legendary pirate. Ministry disappeared her before she got the chance to escape. Not before prepping her cell, though. Golden Ticket, the inmates call it. The guards never found out. But for some thrice forsaken reason, they haven't stuffed anyone else in there, ever. Ooh, someone's shooting at something. Ah, but that's exactly where you ended up, didn't you? By the triangularity, you'll be the one to finally get us out of here. All right, so easy enough. You just move this. Well, draw a square of my food and brand new head. You figured that out all by yourself? Yes, I did. Be welcome at my threshold, chosen one. I'm the Axiom, but you can call me Axiom. My pleasure. These ministry goons think I'm a hacker, but that only shows how grossly they underappreciate my craft. Here's the deal. If you can get me out of this cell, then I'll get you up this station. I've already tried hacking. I mean, gaining access to the security system. But the power fluctuations are resetting it constantly. Probably on purpose. If you can tamper with the generator and make the station module switch to backup power, I have a brief window to open my cell. Here, take this communicator so we can coordinate. I have insider information on the prison layout. Guide you remotely. Don't ask, it's part of my job. I'll wait here and tidy up myself. Looks like I'll be released early. Alright, so I know you do wind up with a ship. From this. But right now, yeah, we don't own a ship. That is a current mission, so it does put you in a thing. 
and we've got no credits. So probably one of the most difficult starts. What happens? You go, you free, you do some stuff in here, right? You get him out. Uh, you go get on a ship. You go to his smugglers group, and then they give you some space weed, uh, and you're left to go find where to deliver it. They basically, you know, it dumps you there, and you got to jump to a gate and then start figuring out where to go from there. But that's the start. It's probably one of the harder starts just because being a smuggler, you also have to dodge whatever authorities are. So kind of your back's against the wall. Not an easy start. That's it, folks. Those are the th uh, total of five in this one. We got them all in. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, which one we should start with. The next video in the series will be a game start from the very first screen, and I'll go over all the bells and whistles, things of that nature. So you want to tune in for that. If you haven't already, subscribe to the old channel. Hit that like button. Share on social media. I appreciate it. Keep your heads down. Your attempts at escape up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.